Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have got the Proline Hyrax 4.19s. Now, um, I've never tried these tires. They're still your average 1.9 wheel size. Just very small at a 4.19 inch outer diameter. This is going to uh, put you on your class one side of competition. So as you can see, that's what it kind of looks like on this truck here. I think they look awesome. This truck um, had 4.75s on it as a class two. I thought they were just too big for the body. This body coming from Element with um, you know a smaller class one style tire on it looked very good. And I think these tires are going to look even better on it. So we're going to, uh, we've already got these mounted up. We're going to bolt them back onto the truck and we're going to get it out to the, um, get it out to the rocks and see how it does. So tag along with me as we try out these new tires. Um, one quick note, they still have stock foams and they are not vented. We're going to run them like that. So I have not decided if I'm going to keep this a trail truck or if I'm going to switch it over to my class one competition truck. If that goes that route, then, you know, I'll vent the tires, put some dual stage foams in. But let's get it out to the rocks and see what these All got. right, everyone, we have got the tires on the truck, and it's time to kick this off. Very excited. The uh, run on the way up to the course was awesome. Completely different driving experience with these smaller tires. Um, so far, the G8 compound's hooking up really, really good. There we go. Got some... Uh, Got some uh, give in the tires right now. Uh, no big deal at all. Probably will be putting some uh, Crawler Innovations dual stage foams because I think they're about the only ones that make a dual stage for, yeah, for the uh, smaller side of tires. You're gonna lose um, a significant amount of clearance going from your 4.75s to these 4.19s as expected, but we got it on a portal truck, so it's not going to be as bad if you were to put it on a straight axle truck. So you still get the advantages of your portals, even though you're throwing your tire size down a little bit. And that truck would usually go over that, but you know, that's the, uh, that's the whole side of class one. Try to make it a little bit more challenging, give you a little bit different driving experience. Truck looks absolutely awesome. The, this size tire was just meant for this truck. It looks 10 times better, except for the uh, mold ring all the way around the tires there. But that'll wear off with time. I've been wanting to do this to this truck for a very, very long time now. Just never got around to doing it. Um, but we finally picked some up at the local hobby shop today. Now, um, one thing that this will help with all the disadvantages of it, it will help your center of gravity. You know, going down to a smaller tire, you're gonna have uh, a much closer clearance to the ground, so that's gonna put you down a lot closer, help out that center of gravity a little bit. You just won't be able to clear as many obstacles. Ooh, we got a good little angle going here. Let's see, uh, let's see what kind of tire roll we got on this side right now. It's really not rolling too awfully bad just where these are such a smaller tire and everything i even got those fenders cut out and it's still rubbing a little bit back there i actually got some really good side hill capability to these i can't believe it just twisted all the way around like that so actually doing really really well but everybody knows after time when these uh memory foam foams actually break in that's just going to uh, go downhill super quick yeah, back that up a little bit much more scale looking that's you know i'm the type of guy i'm not all about one or the other i like to um i like to have a little bit of scale with a lot of bit of performance i like to have a little bit of scale aspect to my vehicles just to uh you know give you that um better experience make you uh feel like you're actually driving a real vehicle if you guys know what i mean i'm sure there's more people that feel the same way about this actually went down that very well usually that front kind of pushes over to the left here and it gets kind of hung up but it actually did really really well there i'm actually really impressed with these i do have the um hyraxes in the predator compound on the power wagon and i'm going to be honest with you i'm 
I don't know if it's the size difference, but I'm really liking this G8 compound for the Hyrax. Um, I've been running the G8 compound in most of the, oh, that's no good. I've been running the G8 compound in most of the trucks that I've got at the moment. Most uh, Pro-Line tires I buy anymore are G8 compound. I just, I like the compound just a little bit better than what I do the Predator. Now, let's see. Let's see if we can make it up this. They look like little beanie wheels, but it goes well with this truck. Now, if I were to put something like this on the Capra or something like that, it wouldn't look too right, but fits this truck very, very well. Nice little climb here. See if we can keep it going. Try to hug this corner a little bit. I'll tell you one thing, that's going to drop in and my clearance is going to go away completely. But she's still trying to climb. If I can get that right, right tire to bite. Maybe if I turn it left, I can get a bite. There we go. There we go. Back up a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Give it a little punch, and there she goes. Doing very, very well. How highly impressed with this. I really, really. Oh, right there, right there. We're getting some tire roll. Let's check it out. Yeah, right there. You're getting a lot of tire roll, but you know. That's a given without dual stage foams. We'll eventually get some put into this. I'm I'm really liking this comp side of things. And I'm not all for comp, you know, I'm not all about it. My trucks are just set up leaning more towards the comp side. They're not necessarily your high end comp vehicles. It's just leaning more towards the performance aspect aspect of things. Let's check this climb out a little bit closer. Oh, 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 if I don't break my neck first, we may get over here. Don't have as much tire to get over that little knob there. I think we can still get this though. Tire, back tire struggling to get over that. Maybe if we stay up in this little crevasse here, we may be able to get it. I don't know if we'll have the clearance over the center axle housing. Let's see. I think that's what's getting us stuck up there. Oh side bite on that I'm surprised i didn't puncture the tire if it was predator it probably would have nice little climb nice climb so guys that was just a uh casual drive for a casual vehicle nothing too special just about the only thing i could find at the hobby shop today they didn't have any rcs that i was interested in um I'm thinking about getting the Phoenix or the base camp. I have not completely decided yet. I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Phoenix just because I like building kits. But um, let me know in the comments below of what you guys would like to see. Would you like to see a uh, fresh build of a Phoenix, something a little bit different? Or would you just, woo! Or would you just like to see a uh, unboxing of an Axial base camp? Um, either or I'd be totally fine with. Really looking for a new RC to add to the collection as of right now. Just can't make up my mind which one I want. They didn't have neither one at the hobby store today. So I'm thinking about ordering one off A-Main. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, today's video was just a simple little tire test. Switching over to some 4.19s for the Toyota or the Night Runner. It's not a Toyota. Who am I kidding? Yeah, you guys know what I mean. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Simple little tire test. Uh, really enjoy these 4.19s for this truck. Really set off the entire look of it. Uh, you could say I downgraded the performance, but, you know, that's what I'm going for for, for Class 1. Simply because I just want a little bit more of a challenge on my course. You know, just to uh, spice things up a little bit. But... Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, uh, helps out the channel more than you guys know. Likes really get the algorithm going, get me out there, gets uh, gets people coming to the videos, lets YouTube suggest it more, you know, all that good stuff. But we're out here for fun, guys. You know, small channel. I'm not making any money off of this, so it doesn't really matter. But I would like to get to that point at some point in my life. It'd be nice to... Uh, be able to get some support for the, from these other companies just to get more content out. It would really, really help. You know, the more support you can get, uh, the more stuff you can make about the 
items that they provide you. So, yep, hope you guys tune in for the next video. I'm hopefully going to get it out pretty soon. I'm thinking about, like I said, ordering a new RC. So, hopefully you guys will be seeing something like that next week. Just let me know Axial Base Camp or the Vanquish Phoenix. I'm open to either one. I'd just like to know what you guys would like to see. May end up with both one day. Who knows? But thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.